Why, hello there. Welcome back, once again, to another episode of You and Me and Her, A Love Story. Please enjoy your time here as we walk through the gates of hell. My gosh, this, this menu is just way too freaking ominous for me, man. So what is going on, guys? It's Malachi here, and as always, I hope you all have yourselves an awesome day. And as you can see, we're back with some more of this game, You and Me and Her, A Love Story. Now, oh my gosh, this, this menu screen is just so freaking ominous, man, and it's just so messed up. Oh my gosh. And here we are, right back where we left off with the absolute weirdness of her breaking the fourth wall. Well, I'm gonna get going. Huh? Whoa, hold on a second. Before I can react, Miyuki walks off, leaving me with the tickets. Dude, like, look, you don't need to egg it on, right? With that, she climbs down the ladder. The door closes and Miyuki's footsteps fade away. I stare up at the vast blue sky, my feelings still a jumbled mess. I'll get another chance, huh? Her final words echo in my mind. It's almost like she knows I'm going to screw up for sure. What's up, Owie? Out of nowhere, Owie suddenly starts transmitting. No service? Supposing he did, what then? Feeling scared, huh? Shunned by her classmates living alone in a manga cafe, she could never bring herself to accept reality. She needed a new reality that she could escape to. So she invented her god. With god's help, she could load her save files and strive for a better outcome in real life. At least that's what she had to tell herself, I'm guessing. But now her signal can't reach. She can't reload her save file. So... Me? I... I fall silent. I can't bring myself to lie to her. Her eyes are so dazzling. She gently takes my hand in hers. For the past few days, I've been so afraid of her, but the feeling was probably mutual. Scared of rejection, we've been keeping each other at arm's length, but she's finally gathered all her courage to talk about it. Even without her save file, she trusts that I'll hear her out. Now it's my turn. Wanna come with me? I hold out the tickets to the play. Yeah, it'll be a real actual date this time around. Of 
course. Boyfriend and girlfriend, aren't we? Her hand shoots up into the sky. Clutched in her palm is the kitty hairpin I bought for her. Oh man, gotta get those badoop badoops. I mean, it won't be super fancy. Hopefully no fourth wall breaks are gonna happen. Huh? Owie crumples to the ground. Owie, you okay? You weren't supposed to literally get topsy turvy, you dork. With her arm around my shoulder, she whispers into my ear. <sighs> really? We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go back to this, huh? I don't understand why she looks so miserable. To me, it feels like the world she sees is entirely different from mine. 37.5 degrees. That's a fever, alright. Her face is already completely haggard. She's been sick a lot lately, but to think it would get this bad on the day of the performance. She writhes on the sofa, the hairpin clutched in her hand. Just get some sleep. It's my birthday next week, you know. And you've been sick a lot lately. You gotta make a full recovery by then, you hear me? That's right. And I won't be very happy if you don't get better. So you need to rest up and recover. Of course. Aoi purses her lips and hesitates for a moment. I'm staying here. Nah, she dropped out of the lead role. Her voice is unusually firm, and I fall silent. You sure you can fall asleep without me here? Mm. No playing with Eri, you hear me? Mm. I don't feel great about this, but I know how stubborn she can be about this stuff. I do owe Miyuki for getting us the tickets, so I guess I ought to give it, a, give in and go see the play. Alright, I'll be back later. <laughs> oh, please. Just so now he sits up right on the sofa. <laughs> You know what? I actually don't. <laughs> uh, not sure you ever told me. Ooh. May 23rd. So you were born before me, huh? Uh, what? What's a code number? I assume this is a, just another one of Aoi's verbal tics. And yet her expression is steely. Bring you back from where? No, hang on, where are you going? Alright, I'm writing this down. Writing it down. First dial 999, then punch in Aoi's birthday twice. 999-0523-0523. I got it wrote down. <laughs> I repeat it over and over in my mind. Or you can be a smart like me and write it down. 
Okay, I promise. Not sure where the heck that came from. Maybe I should write this number down somewhere. Already done it, bro. Already done it. Right. Thanks. Her face is flushed bright red. No one's ever said that to me before. Part of me is thrilled. And yet somehow something seems off about her. Yeah. Everything seemed off ever since Miyuki decided to go up to the rooftop. So I'm putting my shoes on by the front door. I hear the jingle of a bell, and the next thing I know, Eru is standing in my path. Oh, Eru is not happy. Hey, come on, settle down, furball. What? You don't want me to go? Is that it? Just relax. I'm not abandoning Aoi or anything, okay? Eru is not happy. Eru ignores me. The little guy is completely pissed. Normally, he's so well-behaved, too. Ooh. Yeah, see, this was not in the directions. Apparently, the route didn't go this far, so I'm gonna save. What should we do? Take this as a sign, which, obviously, duh. Or go see the plate anyway. Hmm. Either something's gonna happen to Aoi, or something's gonna happen to me. S something's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna do what I personally would do actually i don't know what i would do in this situation because you know never have a sentient cat trying to stop you from doing something before okay i've decided i saved i saved so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this as a sign transceiver cat edu has never led us astray before maybe edu is a transceiver cat Aoi told me all about his supposed powers of precognition I know I should probably take it all with a grain of salt, but at the same time, Ed is the one who helped me find her in the first place. I checked the time on my phone. 30 minutes until the show starts. I feel bad for suspecting her, but admittedly, something has been bothering me about her behavior lately. <coughs> Fine. My instinct compels me to take action, so I decide to hide in the bushes and wait. Back to the, oh, is that what we're doing? Is that is that is that what we're doing? Okay, I mean I should have probably thought of something like this happening, but you know what? Fact of the matter is, Aoi hasn't been acting like herself the past few days. Her sparkle is completely gone. She just sort of survives each day from one moment to the next. I'd assume she was physically sick, but the sound of the door opening makes me flinch. <laughs> what? Aoi steps outside, her face still flushed. I told her to stay home and get some rest. But here she is, breaking our promise. She gazes down at the kitty hairpin in her hand. What? As she whispers, she staggers onto the street in a feverish haze. I can still hear Aoi's pained plea ringing in my ears. Biting my lip, I come to a decision. I can't overlook this little excursion. What the heck? I climb out of the bushes and follow her. She stumbles along like she's walking on clouds, almost as if she's following an invisible signal. Then she steps off the road to the school and... heads inside the corner store? She's just going shopping, right? She must have run out of cold medicine, or maybe Eru needs more milk. Or... that's it! Maybe she randomly needed to use the restroom. Okay, that's that's a that's a long shot, my guy. Maybe she's just jonesing for yabetes, or or. <sighs> you Taro, I swear to God. Uh, look, I trust you, man. I swear, I swear to God. I swear. All right. He's my friend. The words sound painfully fake even to me. My chest fills with suppressed anger and unbearable guilt. I remember her begging me, but what did she mean by that? Would she really go that far to deceive me? The automatic door slides open with a familiar corner store chime. Oh. It's Haru-chan. I forgot she works here too. 
Instantly, my misgivings melt away. I just came to see her. She's not here for you, Taro, at all. She isn't cheating on me. Wow. <laughs> I laughed to myself as I watched them go. But why the heck was Eru freaking out? I hurry down the road beneath the red rays of the sunset. If I run, I can still make it in time for the play. Admittedly, I took a hell of a detour, but at least I've resolved that misunderstanding. Man, I'm so ashamed of myself for ever doubting Aoi or Yutaro. Of course, I'd still like to know why Aoi left the house, especially since she did it behind my back. I'm sure there's gotta be a good reason for it, right? Paro's in the theater club. I can't rule out the possibility that the two of them are working on some kind of birthday surprise for me. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see anything. I hand in my ticket and head into the dark gymnasium. The play is yet to start, but most of the seats are full. All that's left is to wait for the curtain to rise. Yep, I sure am. Yeah, I know, something came up. If Miyuki's in on the surprise, then I probably shouldn't cup to what I saw just now. She's feeling sick today. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Miyuki's expression stiffens, but I wave away her concern. Just a minor fever. You know how she's been under the weather lately. Her phone's always out of service, though. Seriously? You don't need to worry about- The look in her eyes is dead serious. Weird, why is she so insistent about this? Oh well, it's just one measly phone call, I guess. As requested, I take out my cell phone. Is this part of the birthday surprise? Confused, I call my empty house. I know Aoi's not there right now, so no one's going to answer. After a handful of rings, I end the call. She wasn't doing too well when I last saw her, so she's probably... Miyuki? I look over to find Miyuki on her phone, too. Finished your call? What? She's probably just asleep. Well, she was, she's with Haru. What are you talking about? Without another word, Miyuki strides off towards the exit. Wait, what about the play? But you went to the trouble of getting me these tickets. My jealous side? Oh boy. What's gonna happen? I look I we saw her walking out of the store with Haru. Where could what could possibly happen? <laughs> That's not right. We walk silently down the dark road. Miyuki abandoned the performance just to drag me out here. She's so dead, deadly serious, I don't even feel right making a casual joke. Something tells me there isn't a birthday surprise after all. We head back down the road I took to get here. Then finally we arrive. At Yutaro's family corner store. Maybe Miyuki has the same misconception about Yutaro and Aoi. If so, I should probably go ahead and explain everything. Listen, uh, to tell you the truth, I stopped up. I stopped by here on my way to the performance just now. Aoi was supposed to be laid up in bed with a fever, but I saw her stumbling out of the house. I thought maybe she was cheating on me, but that was all just a misunderstanding. You know that Haru girl in your club, she... Yeah? I don't get it. What's wrong with Aoi hanging out with Haru? Wait... What? 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 Is it, what? <laughs> Did you just say he? Wh just then the automatic door slide open. <laughs> Yutaro dashes outside and drops to his knees. Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> Are you... Wh what? What? Are you... Are are you trying to tell me 
that Ryujiro is Haru. Is, 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 is that what you're trying to tell me right now? <laughs> What's going on with your brother? I don't get it. <laughs> Miyuki turns to me. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? Ryujiro is Yutaro's younger brother. Yes, that is correct. Yutaro's been agonizing over him for days. And now Miyuki claims he and Haru are actually the same person. Are you kidding me? Wh what is going on here? Well, Haru doesn't look like a guy at all. So then. Okay, now now I'm starting to see Yutaro's point of view here, and how he reacted the way he did. Oh, right. Yutaro's told me time and time again about Ryujiro's dangerous good looks. And if I think about it, it does sort of explain some things. Like why she was wearing a guy's work uniform at the corner store. Wait, but Haru was wearing a girl's uniform at school. <laughs> Oh God. He was wearing a girl's uniform when we first met, so I must have just assumed. Come to think of it, that would explain why she was flustered enough to hide in the prop closet. After all, I'd probably do the same if my brother's friend walked in on me cross-dressing. But isn't his name Ryujiro? Why would he go by Haru? Haru Akebono. Uh, of course, in spring, it is the dawn, that, f in f that famous quote by Sei Shanagan or whoever. <sighs> yep, I, I see. Miyuki thrust the cold, hard reality in my face. Pointless. As it is, I still try to stick my head in the sands. Maybe they're working on a birthday surprise for me, you know, some fun little... Itaro chokes the words out. Oh my... Oh my... I was often seen visiting Catnip with a friend. Shinichi, Cheating. My sight goes fuzzy. Maybe the rumors were right. She tricked me, betrayed me, and now she's with another guy. I, I don't know. The way everyone's making this seem is so horrible, but maybe it's not as bad as it looks, alright. I, I would like to be optimistic about this and think that it's not as bad as it looks. Like Miyuki said, there's no... Pr there's no hard proof that this is what it looks to be. Blinded by despair, Miyuki's voice is the one guiding light left in my darkness. What? Clinging to that faint hope, I walk down the road. The hallway is quiet and devoid of life, save for us. We creep down the hall, careful not to make a sound. Then Yutaro stops in front of a door. Apartment 804. The door key dangles from his finger. Shinichi, 
I wanted to believe in Aoi. Her words, her tears. Hell, I'm still desperate to believe her now. But Miyuki's right. I'm a jealous guy. I refuse to let the woman I love cheat on me with someone else. Take the key from Yutaro. It's cold and heavy and digs into my skin. My hand shakes. There's no turning back now, no matter what waits for me beyond this door. Whether or not I can escape the reality I find there. Pinning all my hopes and fears on the key, I stuff it into the lock. I, I have a bad feeling, but at the same time, I have a weird feeling. Like, maybe it's not bad? I don't know, that might just... Totally quietly, I turn the key. And I gently open the door. Oh, bad memories, man. <laughs> Slowly, quietly, the lock slides free. We walk silently into the apartment. Oh wow, that's a that's a nice place. Not even gonna lie. The faintest shuffle of our footsteps sound deafening. I hold my breath, clutch at my chest, and let my feet carry me forward. Wow, this place looks freaking nice. Holy crap! The apartment is empty, with all the high-end furnishing. I can't possibly imagine an ordinary high school living here. But either way, no one is here. Interesting, interesting. お風呂場はまだ濡れてる。蛇口を that's just circumstantial evidence. Yutaro, is it cool if I poke around? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, but maybe there's a chance I could find proof of her innocence. I nod silently. I don't want to look. I don't want to find anything. But I ignore the voice screaming in my head and dig around anyway. Almost like I'm compelled by some invisible force. Miyuki. Miyuki jumps back and I catch catch her in my arms. What's wrong? What? Miyuki points at her trash can. If only I could just pass out instead. Go ahead. With Miyuki in my arms, my hands are a little full. And my said guitar slowly approaches. What is it? I have a feeling I know what's in there. Hey, Utaru, tell me what's in there. Oh, my bro, this is f the words hit me like a punch to the gut. Okay. This is the nail in the coffin, the final blow that makes my sight my makes my sight dim. The pain in my foot feels distant, like it's happening in some other world. Composure restored. This time, Miyuki wraps her arms around me. Aoi was definitely here. Oh my! Don't tell me it's the hairpin. Don't tell me. Oh my! Flying on the floor. What? What is wrong with this? Is a kitty hairpin. This is giving me fuzzes, bro. Oh my gosh. Eee. Oh god. Uh, wh what? Oh, he smiles brightly at me. Yeah, there is actually uh, an explanation. What do you mean? Is this a memory? A flashback? Aoi takes a kitty hairpin out of her pocket. Sure enough, it looks exactly like the one I gave her. She always said she'd take good care of it. But is it really the same one? Or is this a jump forward? What brought this on all of a sudden? Sure. Ah, I see. It's kind of hard to answer on the spot. 
か欲しいものあるの Let's see. A joke answer comes to mind. Someone who will love me forever, I guess? Whoa, okay. Dude, I don't know why, but this game randomly has these little fits where it lags. It's really weird. Someone who will love me forever, I guess. I already blush his family. Is this in the past or is this a jump forward? I can't tell. Let's let's go with that then. She pauses and tilts her head. I don't know what to think anymore. Like I said, it's hard to think of anything when you put me on the spot. Like, if I asked you what you want. Oh, yeah. Okay, I recoil, but Abby clings to me anyway. Well, I mean, is that really any anything different from what I said? <laughs> She looks at me with love in her eyes. The sunset dazzles me. I feel dizzy. My brain rattles around in my head. I might lose it altogether. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, alright. Just in my bark, it vibrates. Oh man, thanks, phone. You really saved me there. Hmm, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Push her away and hastily take out my phone. It's an email from Miyuki. And if Aoi knew what it said, everything would come crashing down. Shinichi? Sorry, Miyuki wants to see me. Ano, wa... Just get me whatever. Give me something you'd like. Aoi ga... suki na mono? Anyway, see ya. With that, I dash down the ladder. <laughs> Above me, I can faintly hear her start transmitting. <sighs> then inst the instant the door closes, <sighs> my nausea overwhelms me. Oh, Obviously not. Like, this- alright, so this is a jump from what happened before. And obviously, like, it's understandable how sick Shinichi would be in, in this point in time. Miyuki. Miyuki must have been watching the whole thing. She gently rose my back. Sorry about that. Whenever she touches me, I just get so... The memory of her smile threatens to make me puke all over again. When she, puts her, when she put her arms around me, it made my skin crawl. After all, I know what she did with those hands. Thanks. Miyuki consoles me and even cleans up the mess I made. Without her, I'm sure I would have completely lost my crap by now. So I got your email. What did you want to talk about? Did you find out how she got another one of these? Pull the kitty hairpin out of my pocket. This is proof, right here. And yet, she somehow has a near identical pin in her possession. That settles it. I bite my nausea. Okay, I've made up my mind. You know that idea you had? Let's do it. Uh, what? Uh, what? Um, again, I can't, uh, figure out, though, what's going on here. Oh, okay. Happy birthday to you. So Miyuki and Yutaro are here as well. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miyashiji. Happy birthday to you. Uh, what? <laughs> this has just been so confusing so far, man. Same as you, genius. <laughs> what do you mean, legally? <laughs> 
Oh my god. He's legally obligated. Yes, I get that. <laughs> Whoa, look at the size of that thing. Mickey hands me a giant bouquet of flowers. I can smell the lilies from here. She's been putting quite a few things into place for me, but I hadn't realized she'd prepared such a thoughtful gift. This is shaping it up to be one heck of a birthday party, man. Wrestling with my emotions, I force myself to speak. Thanks, everyone. Aoi's hand shoots up into the air, then she dashes down out into the hall. Oh, she pulls with all her might, the box barely inches forward. Ah, yes. Open spilling its contents. Yabadies? Why? 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 <laughs> My gosh. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, he walks into the kitchen and opens the fridge. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, figures. Yeah, yeah. Where did you. <laughs> what? Why? Why? What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, thanks. Looks like I'll be getting plenty of vitamins from here on out. Yeah, sure have. なななななんと二色弁当。いいですね、男のロマンですね。モテモテですね。羨ましいですね。ビア中ですね。マイガシ。爆発しろ。ゆうたろう君も大変ね。そ、それさんに憐れまれた。おかしい。なぜだ。
You know how Yutaro said he got himself a girlfriend? Or so I thought anyway, so I told him to invite her and... God dang it. It's Haru. Oh, he freezes, but I'm not surprised. After all, she probably recognizes that voice. Yep。え、えっと、あの、み、み、皆さん、初めまして。私、ハルと言います。よろしくお願いします。Haru whispers feebly, or Ryujiro. <laughs> Yutaro's brother. Miyuki's fellow lesbian. And Aoi's secret paramour. The tension hangs in the air. Hmm? Aoi, do you know her? Oh, that's funny. Wasn't she the one who helped you pick out Aoi's milk at the corner store? The five of us sit around the table and eat our cake. Aoi ends up seated next to Ryujiro. Nobody says a word. Bit by bit, the cake disappears. Aoi still seems panicked. She, seemed, she keeps glancing all around the room. I can barely suppress a rush of glee. Unable to bear the tension in the room, Ryujiro stands up from his chair. We told him to rehearse this line in advance, but his voice shakes so badly I find myself wondering how he made it into the theater club at all. Ryujiro hands me a small box. Hmm? I take it without saying thank you. And I open it slowly to really make her sweat. Whoa, this is the hairpin I gave Aoi. Hmm, interesting. And we seem to be taking a turn for the better, the worst. We're, we seem to be taking a turn. Aoi starts digging around in her pocket. Aoi's expression stiffens. Her eyes are wide like someone just shoved her off a cliff. This is the exact look I wanted to see on her face. But we're only just getting started. But wait, there's more. That's strange. I thought it was handmade and one of a kind. あの Miyuki uses her friendly advice tone of voice. Hontono her voice is barely a whisper. Her lips tremble and she falls silent. Yutaro. Oh. Yutaro's gift is sitting in the disc tray. He presses the play button and the screen lights up with. Yep. There it is. There it is. 
security camera footage from the corner store. The store is dimly lit and devoid of any other customers. Behind the counter, Ryujiro and Aoi share a tender embrace. Then the camera zooms in and the footage grows more distorted. Tell me, Aoi. Apparently I'm quite the jealous monster, as I fight the urge to smash the TV. I force myself to speak calmly. We're boyfriend and girlfriend, aren't we? So why did you kiss him? You're my girlfriend, aren't you? You told me to believe in you, isn't that right? And you cried and everything. What was that anyway? Just an act? Shit. I tried. I tried really hard. I tried to accept you. I tried to trust you. But how did you feel about me? What was on your mind when you were kissing him? Bullcrap. I can't take it anymore. I throw it at her. She doesn't try to dodge. Hits her in the face and falls to her feet. What an incredible tribute. I'm impressed. You love me so much, you cr screw other guys. Found it on the day of the play when we snuck into Ryujo's room. Everything. I knew Haru was Yutaro's brother. I knew you were alone together in that apartment. But I played dumb. All this time I acted like everything was fine. I held back my feelings and played the part of the happy boyfriend. Being around you made me so sick. I threw up dozens of times. I shuddered every time you asked. But I endured it. I told myself I had to grit my teeth and bear it. Also, I could shove it in your face right here, right now. My love for Aoi is gone. My rational sense is gone. All that's left is hate. And a thirst for revenge. Or so I thought. And yet, I can still feel a burning anger somewhere deep down inside. So, what were you doing? You broke off our date to go be alone with some other guy, right? So what the heck were you doing? I wanted to believe in you. I really did. Why would you betray me like this? I asked you a question. Say what? You and your freaking god. Before I can lash out, Ryujiro jumps in between us. So did you screw her? You screwed her, right? You didn't go through with it after you'd already opened a condom? Wow, that's love for you. I'm so touched I could cry. I'm not buying that bullcrap. I slam my fist down hard on the table, but it's funny. At this point, I can't even feel—I can't even feel the pain. Be straight with me. You, you guys just screwed without it, didn't you? Think I could just possibly believe the two of you went that far just to call it quits after opening? No one in their right freaking mind would believe that. No one argues, probably because no one can. Simple as that. <laughs> This is hilarious. My sides are in orbit. I'm actually crying too. Are these tears of frustration? Or sadness? Or maybe they're happy tears? Who knows? We're slowly going insane. No safe file loading for you. Out of nowhere, Aoi pulls out her phone and lifts into, into the air.
Snatch the phone from her. Shut the freak up. The screen displays her mid call to God. Cheated on me because God told you to. That's such a load of bull crap. We broke it. Oh my gosh. We broke it. I fling her phone to the ground. The screen shatters on impact. I would just stares down at it. There's only one thing I want from her now. Okay. Now see. In this moment, obviously. The most unlogical, logical thing that my guy would do would say this right here. But, I'm calm. Nope. So we're gonna tell me the truth. Look, just be honest with me. Tell me the real reason you, why you cheated on me. Please, just help me understand. I know it's pathetic, but I'm desperate. I love her too much, I just can't drag this off, shrug this off. Did she lose interest? Was Ryujiro just really good and... Yeah. No, I don't know. I just want an explanation. I don't care what it is. I just want to understand why. Dada. Aoi looks at me blankly the same way she always used to. <coughs> oh crap, I feel like she's about to stab us. She mumbles quietly. On the surface she sounds normal, but I can tell. She's utterly defeated. Guys? Wakatta. Uh, Miki falls silent, but Yutaro pi pipes up in her stead. I don't want to hear it. Itaro gently puts a hand on Ryujiro's trembling shoulder. Ah, oh, the Akabana brothers walk out of the living room. Bro, I feel like I'm about to get stabbed. <laughs> what the heck? Now it's just me, Aoi, and Miyuki. The seconds tick by, slow and steady. Miyuki, please. As long as I have an option, nothing crazy will happen. I won't. Miyuki sighs heavily. What? Oh gosh, she's doing her thing again, being weird. She leads the room. Unfortunately, I'm in no mood to believe in eternal love. As messed up as the situation is, I feel like Ryujiro might have a point, but I have no- I don't know. Okay, they're gone. It's just me and Aoi now, alone in the living room. <laughs> Ready to start a back alley brawl from the freaking tension that's freaking in the air right now. Her eyes are like saucers. It's like all her hopes were crushed with her cell phone. I take a deep breath to steady myself. Then I move in close to Aoi. Please tell me. Why did you betray me? Aoi wa... Game no heroine na no. Oh, crap. This again. Kami-sama ga kono sekai ni awasete tsukutta. Shut the f- Oh, dude. I'm getting mad. Before I can stop myself, I scream at her. I'm sick of your freaking game bull crap. Her gaze is firm. Kamisama その目的は一つ。たくさんの主人公を攻略して 
イベント CG を回収すること君の青いルートは同時に神様の新一ルートなの新一とエッチしてもう新一ルートはコンプリート。Is that, is, that, is that how that works?、Oh, I see. I t h o u g h t CG. Kai Shu de Kinaito. Then she mo kirete. Then pa todo kanakte. Save de Kinai mama. Dakara. Aoi wa. Haru chan ruto ni itta no. Sore ga. Shin ichi o uragitta. Liu. Her expression doesn't shift an inch. She rattles it all off like it's the most normal thing in the world. Like she's reading from a script. I see. Bye bye. She's silent. He turns away and then she walks off. Her uncertain footsteps grow faint. I don't know what to believe. Oh, how is what? Okay. Okay. Let, let's see here. Obviously, Aoi is not lying. Like, she's, she's not lying. Although, obviously, to us, she's not lying. But to Shinichi, he,、uh, she is.、Uh, we'll just do this, I guess. I, I don't freaking know, man. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I feel like I wanna press on this one. I couldn't possibly believe her story. She refuses to accept responsibility for what she's done. Instead, she puts all the blame on an imaginary god, telling her it was a waste of time. And I just wanted, okay. Now, see, that's what I figured might would have happened if I picked that, so we're gonna load. Oh, hey, welcome back. We're back at the option table. Alright, let's see how this one is. It was all lies, wasn't it? My mouth moves on its own, of its own accord. You never loved me. You just wanted CGs. So you cheated on me without a second thought. Just then, Aoi's face twists in misery. Pure emotion rolls up in her eyes. Shinichi. Aoi wa. Shinichi wo. Uragita no. Taksa. Taksa. Harui koto o shita no. Kakushi goto mo. Uso mo. Shite kita no. Temo. 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 Kore dake wa. 信じて欲しいの真一は葵が初めて本気で好きになれた人なのだからこの記憶なくしたくなかったゲームをリセットされたくなかった How can I discern truth from falsehood? How can I tell fact from fiction? I don't know. But if I'm supposed to believe that her tears were fake, well, I'd rather just off myself instead. So that's the reason you cheated on me, huh? <laughs> Why did you hide it? Why didn't you just tell me? No, I wouldn't. Aoi smiles sadly, almost like she sees right through me. Other worlds? Aoi wa, Irona Hiroi ni natte. Taksan taksan, CG, Kaishu stano. Sore wa Aoi. Karada wa chigau kedo. A chigai naku. Aoi nano. Shinichi wa. そういうの嫌いなの二股絶対許さないの That's not true 知ってるの
葵の他にそういうルートがあってだからもうゲームオーバーなの No I can feel my voice start to break But this is my fate I have to say it There's no such thing as game over No saving, no loading, even though I just did it a little bit ago, but who cares about the small details? We only get one life. This is it. But that's why we fall in love so passionately. You can't overwrite your mistakes in real life like you can in a video game. But in exchange, real life lasts way, way longer. You can start over as many times as you want. I have a decision to make. It'll mean setting it'll, it'll mean setting aside all of my dignity and changing who I am as a person, but I'll do it for her, for love. No matter how many times I mess up or get hurt. Let's stay together. And so I quietly take out my cell phone. Oh boy, what is this? What? Haru-chan. Aoi-to. Nanda kiyoni? Sushiki-senpai wa? Aoi wa Haru-chan to H shinai to dame na no. Is this is this her idea? Silence falls. Lying there in the dark living room, I open my eyes. I can't possibly sleep. <laughs> What's up, Eru? What is up, my my kitty? How did you get here? I seem to recall shutting him upstairs in my bedroom so Miyuki wouldn't have any allergy attack during my birthday party. Hmm, interesting. Did he escape when Aoi opened the door? It almost feels like he teleported here. <laughs> my dude's a freaking wizard. He meows sweetly at me. I pick up I pick him up and close my eyes, cradling his warmth in my arms. God is real. I can't believe it. But I believe her. Must have a bad case of gamer brain. Oh yeah, man, that gamer brain. I love Aoi. But Aoi's a romance option in a video game. She needs... Okay, that's uh, interesting. So I called Ryujo and told Aoi to do the do, as Yutaro would say. It was my only option. I have no other choice. Time to just pass out. Maybe I can fall asleep and forget everything. Dark jealousy swirls in my chest. I never should have agreed to this. I know it's pathetic, but I can't change who I am. All these community guidelines are giving me a headache. Holy crap, there's way too many, too many guidelines from the community right now. Oh, look at that. A loading screen. How wonderful. Uh, yep, I can assume, because I've been recording for about an hour and 30 minutes. It's for Ryudro, he's... <laughs> Poor Ryudro, man. Don't worry, I'm right here. She clenches her fist. So is the kitty hairpin etched in with all of her happiest memories. Yeah, that sounds nice. This time, I'd like to go on a a really cheesy romantic date. Okay, I promise. She might not remember this in the morning, but I'm going to make sure I keep this promise anyway. Thinking back is kind of funny. Why would a jealous bastard like me, a guy who never once believed in her little world, suddenly decide to forgive her? Fate. People can't control their fate. That must be what urged me to do it. At least, I can't think of anything else. Fate must have brought me and Aoi together, huh? Chiga. What the heck are you doing here? Hmm? Am I am I hearing things? Is is there a is there did I just hear the words of a psycho with a knife behind me yeah, while I'm, while I'm, while I'm sleeping? I thought I heard a voice from somewhere. Just then. What are you? What? <laughs> what? Why? Wait, what? What the heck? And the next thing I know, well, how do you guys like a nice little cliffhanger? 
I know I sure do. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the commentary and enter the channel, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button down below. And be sure to hit that bell icon so that you always be notified by any video or live stream that I end up doing. And this episode gave me a freaking headache, man. Oh my gosh. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.